Billy Quick, great outdoors or staycation in the city? Definitely city. Then let me introduce you to the new Chevy Trax, perfect for cruising around town. Well, how about the Chevy Silverado with its bold new look and off-road capabilities? Either way, visit your local New England Chevy dealer today. I have had the luxury of being in Jack's life for the last seven years. When I think about Jack, it makes me emotional in, in a happy way, though. It makes me think about how important he was to me. As we all know, Jack had this magic about him that anyone he interact with, he, he made you think that no matter what you needed, no matter who you were, he'd always be there. A few years ago, I lost my mother. And in many ways, my mom was sort of the anchor for everything in my life. It was an incredible funeral, and it was attended by so many people that we love. And Jack showed up at the funeral. So he sat at the front of the receiving line and welcomed all my family and all my friends. And I knew what he was doing. I knew what that was. And I knew it didn't matter who was there, who was looking at him, who was wondering what he was doing in that seat. He was there because he knew that I saw him. And I knew that he was right to the right of me. I knew that he was there because he knew that I needed to know that someone would be there to hold me down. And I feel like that's one example of so many times I had health issues, I had issues with my son, and he never let me down. One of the things I think all of us think about when we think of Jack Carnes is we think big, we think grandiose, we think of the immense impact that he's had in the city of Boston. The reality is though, is that those big things happened as a result of the little interactions and the small seeds that were planted along the way in Jack's journey to excellence. And those weren't big things. Those were the little things behind a closed door that people didn't know about. Those were the lunches that Jack would take. A young person who was thinking about what's next for their career. Can they go to college? Should they go to college? It comes in those moments where Jack walks into the Leadership Academy and starts handing out $20 bills to the kids to go buy ice cream. It's Jack sitting down to play chess or checkers with our 10th grader who is quiet and often doesn't find themselves with friends. Those are the things that Jack did that allowed him to be able to achieve all the amazing things that he was able to achieve. We've all had that moment that felt special, that felt unique, that felt like just something you and Jack shared. And I feel like as recipients of those experiences, of those connections, of those relationships, we owe it to him to fulfill his legacy. We owe it to him to make this city a better place. So I believe he will be a guardian angel that blesses us from above and pays attention to us when we do the right thing. But I fundamentally believe that all of us have a responsibility to continue that great work and to be the things we know Jack was and expects of us to be.